And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, boy. Oh, sweet, sweet, cold relief. It's <laughs> yeah. The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That is my my life partner, lover, friend, confidant. Rival. <laughs> Big Jay <O'Kerson>. Rival. <laughs> Closest friend. Greatest enemy. <laughs> Patriot. <laughs> uh, companion. Inno- foe. A foe. Innovator. Um, Dude, it's fucking raining and it's sweatshirt season in New York City. Just for today. It's just a sweet treat. Is it's it going to go sweet back? Treat. It's going back? Yeah, it's supposed to go back up to the 80s tomorrow. But man, football on a rainy day. If it just wasn't raining, everybody, if it just wasn't raining, it's a gloom day around here. We found out they're trying to fucking shovel us into some crappy ass shit studio that wouldn't work for what we do. Well, it's a very nice, it's it's not a shitty studio, it's just not right for us. It's a bucket of shit. I mean. Why would you make a state, why would you have a studio where the people on the show can't see the TVs? So their names can be behind them for Instagram pictures? Moronic. It's moronic. Why would you put a talk Listen, show for our that? show, it, uh, we can't be in that studio, Jacob. It's insane. Okay, we Jacob. can't be. Let me work on it. Hammer that home. Okay. We need to stay in the studio. We will protect this house. Who's we will problem? protect this house! Who's the problem? What, who, what show are they going to do? Who do we got to go through? Who do you got to set up? Listen, I'm all gassed up after watching <laughs> Louis J. Gomez take care of business at Ellis Mania. Hell yeah. Maybe there's an executive that old sodes need to get into. A f- we'll do a freestyle wrestling. We, <laughs> we sh- won't even yeah, do MMA. Who do got to strap up with? Dude, I'll, I'll get into position. I'll take down their arm. I wrestled when I was six. I think I still got some moves. Who are they trying uh, to jam? <laughs> Who are they trying to jam into the studio? There's some three hour DJ. Uh, there's a three hour DJ show that's starting. what? Who's DJing? Oh, say DJ. Why? Is it you? That's not me. Is it you? I would never take the studio from you, Jacob. Why would you do that? Why would you kick us out of your house? What difference does it make? I gotta, I gotta do my own thing eventually. Oh man. What difference trying to branch out? What difference does it make if they have a DJ show? I've been told for myself and Dan and everybody else in the world, there is no live DJing except for like these talk shows. In fact, we made a pretty big stink about it last week on the show. Yeah. It's talk shows, so what's this DJ show they need three hours for during our time? Who is it? I don't know. Is it Liquid Todd? No, it's not Liquid Todd. Is Liquid Todd coming in here trying to take shit back? (laughs) Is Is it Ben? Is it it Ben? Is it the Orange Hours with Mm -hmm. Ben? I I gotta look. Who is it? It might be uh, something on LL Cool J's brand. Suck a dick. Is it Uncle L? It's not, I don't think it's him. It's not He's the Love future of the funk, not the future of radio. Pick a lane, bro. Here's what happened. I peed on the carpet here, therefore marking it my territory. It's ours. Tell Uncle so, L that. He's like, yo, did you really piss on the carpet? Yeah. You think I'm meant to hurt you? Does he want to come up here and one pant leg up, one sweat pant, pant leg up battle with me? Oh, dude. I'll bring you it right to him. There's LL. Hold Uncle L. I'm definitely down with that. Remember Jimmy Martinez and got into a fight? Did they really? Yeah, that was a big thing in Hot 97, I think. They got into it. Yeah, I think they got into it. <laughs> I think got pretty real. Who, didn't he? Didn't he? For punch, the record, I don't want to fight L. Cool J. Didn't he punch Jamie thing, Fox in yeah, the face it, during yeah. any given Sunday? Yeah. We are in hell. LL Cool J's taking shots at Jamie. Can you give me that beef jerky that our fans sent in so I can promote it and also eat more of it? Is it really great? It's fucking good. It's uh, it's smoke Oklahoma barbecue. Yeah, I was really oh, hope. I'm really hoping it's not. Ed- oh, I mean, there's multiple bags. Yeah, this is cracked pepper. I've tried smoked applewood bacon. So thank you. Who sent in the gluten free smoke? I think I smoke Oklahoma BBQ. I think there's. Oh, a right here. Rob Taylor. Um, Rob, thanks for sending in the beef jerky and his own barbecue sauce. Yeah, he made some bonfire sauces. Did you see all these? I did. There's some great ones too. There's Jacobs. What's that one, Jacob? Sweet, sweet sauce. It's got a great label. What great is it? Shark, a great shark coming up out of the, out of the sauce. That's fantastic. That's, That's Jacob's sweet, sweet sauce. Sweet, sweet barbecue. We'll put these up at the Bonfire SXM on. Uh, my dad Gary's Little Red Sauce. That's fantastic. Great. <laughs> That's Always great. ready to go. Jacob, a little fun note for you, by the way. I watched a little bit of the new It again mm-hmm. on TV this weekend. And you know one of the kids the whole time's wearing an Airwolf T-shirt. I, I didn't, saw that. Really? Yeah, with with uh, Ernest Borgnine and Jay and Michael. We can find you that T-shirt. I have the T-shirt. The fan sent it in. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Same one. Pretty fantastic. Here. I think for Christmas we gotta get you an Airwolf leather jacket. The fans have sent some crazy shit. Why is this not taken into account at all, Jacob? When they're trying to shuffle us around like we're some fucking jobber assholes. Jay, listen, they don't appreciate us. 
Because I know. How this frustrating is, why, is that? This is why we get to operate under the radar. Because they start paying attention to us, they start bringing some rules in here. Cut out Bennington and Howard Stern. What's happening better on this goddamn, this goddamn stupid thing filled in the cool fucking J- space? LL Cool J's three hour, <laughs> three hour fucking, DJ space. Fucking space radio we do? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the world. <laughs> Listen, aliens, you need to help us out. I don't give a, that's fucked up. That's a fucked up thing to shove us into that place. Oh, well, but the fucked up part that I don't like is that we have to start the show at 6, and they're not done till 6, so that's just put both of us in very inconvenient Yeah, they're done positions. on 6. Our pre-records won't be in our own studio ever. It's just, come on, man. And Get as I fuck said, out of here. I pissed on the carpet, so we're in a position. Too right late. Now. I'll take a fucking fat dump right in that stupid <laughs> floor uh, setup that does never work for people's headphones and microphones. No, again, Jacob's not. We accept this fucking dump. <laughs> you're going to shove us into another piece of shit? We got uh, dad. Hold on, man. We got dad and mom Jacob because you're upsetting Jacob. Jacob, this isn't because of you. You just I know. told me. I'll, I'll work on it. to come every goddamn day and look at some fucking goober's fucking red devil hot sauce on the floor. What are they hot saucing in here every morning? <laughs> What's pin- happening so hot? Is it just because is there, hot is, tanks. Is, is, is black people on Sirius one, the black DJ on Sirius one put hot sauce in everything breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or looks the white people. That's all it is, I'm sure. Egg sandwiches. That bottle yeah. of sauce hasn't moved since we've been here. <laughs> I think it was No, t- it's the 50th bottle of sauce. That's all it is. It's either that or the first one because someone was trying to appease to their one black co-host where they're like, see, I've got like the Hillary Clinton. I've got Tabasco in my purse. You can't, you can't stop a black person from eating hot sauce. Yeah. Black DJs? Oh, hell no. That's, I'm a grown-ass DJ. That was one of the racist engineers. <laughs> he goes, there's going to be a lot of black shows in here. You might want to leave a bottle of Red Hot. <laughs> you think that's necessary? He goes, it couldn't hurt. <laughs> this is one super racist engineer. He serious. goes, from what I read, it calms him down. <laughs> he goes, I just saw the slate of schedules, so I put a bottle of Red Hot in Studio 5. You want to get away from a gang of them? Jump in a pool. <laughs> He's like, what, are they bees? <laughs> yeah, but I would never break bread with a Jew, ever. Get him get him some name brand cereals. He'll get diabetes after one bowl. You know, that guy reformed. It would be great if he stuck to that. <laughs> no, he's like, that's his one thing yeah, still. Goes, but black people so are the, on the level. Yeah, yeah. They all hug me after church. He goes, Jews? Still hate them. He goes, Jews? Not one of them has hugged me yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, two our Jewish friends in the studio and at home, happy Rosh Hashanah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, happy New Year. Shana Tova, everybody. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. I got to call my mom after the show tonight. Oh, uh, yeah? We should really call her on the air. If I don't know why it would make me so nervous to do that. I don't know, dude. I would never put my man on the fucking show. I would. I'd put my grandma. My grandmother is the grandma. lovely. She is the loveliest human being. If I got her on the phone on the radio right now, she would not let us hang up before she tells me how proud she was is of me and what an amazing man I've become. What? It'll make me cry around the air. Dude, she you know, I hate I hate talking to her for that reason. I love talking to her. Do you know what she I makes do? me feel so happy, but she hangs up, <laughs> and all I want to do is confess to her what a piece of all the things my grand. She's like, I'm so proud of you. You have no idea the things I've done. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny because my grandma, I literally, uh, last time I talked to her, she was like, I'm driving up. I'm working, I'm at the punchline this week. I would jerk off at her house. I think that's just absolutely ridiculous yeah. what you do. Thursday through Saturday, I'm at the punchline in Sacramento. Come on out. It's going to be a great time. DanceHunter.com for tickets. Great but, comic, great club, man. It's fucking, I love that club. It's, it's so great. Yeah. Saturday, I'm driving to my grandma's north in Lake County. I'm going to, you know, assess the fire damage. Not really. I'm going to drive up and see my grandma for the day. It's a two-hour drive there, two-hour drive back, two shows. My grandma was like, I was like, yeah, I'll probably get there like 11 or whatever. She's like, oh, you can't get here by 10? I'm like, well, you know, we got shows late. And she's like, yeah, but you should get here by 10. And I was like, oh. It just became a thing where I'm like, are you really? I'm dr- I'm going out of my way. It's a problem. Why what? don't you put the pedal to the metal, Mary? Why don't you stop being such a little <laughs> bitch? I didn't realize your dad had two a, daughters. There's also a left lane, you homo. Uh, listen, if I want to see a granddaughter, I'll go down to the dance recital. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were walking, baby. Is I thought my you're going to walk to grandma's house like Little Red Ride. You're going to skip here, you little bitch boy. <laughs> why don't you take... Yeah. <laughs> uh, why don't you take off your fucking cape and push that goddamn gas pedal down? Uh, why can't you get here? Is it because that dog is slowly removing your underwear from behind, you white baby bottom bitch. 
you know, you get here a little bit fast if you don't stop to suck every glory hole dick at every truck stop on the way here. Maybe stop giving out hand jobs from Sacramento up to Lake County. Oh, uh, yeah. I realize you have to lot list every fucking 20 minutes, but. Yeah. So it's just funny that your grandma's like, my Jason, you uh, you're the doing, best. You're doing, you're almost doing a good impression. I love him so much, my grandma's like. She's not a 1940s actress. Oh, I'm so famished, Jason. <laughs> I'm famished. I'm famished. Well, my mom's not a fucking... My grandma isn't a fucking dealer in an Atlantic City casino. Isn't she, Dan? No, she is a sweet, white-haired woman <laughs> who has seen and done shit that is unspeakable. Dan, hey, Grandma wants to let you know, I don't care if you're not going to run a little bit. You're not going to run a little bit in my place. I saw you special. Was it funny? Eh. But you can jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> Slap it around. I'm a heavy sleeper. Uh, buddy will bark if he is. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, bite the pillow when you're ready to pop, kid. I don't need my dog barking at you. That's what your people always do. <laughs> See, we can't do this in another studio. We can't do this. This it, We can't even face each other in that fucking dump. It's the same setup. It's the, the exact same setup. same setup. Not even no, sort of. Not, not even sort, sort of. of. Yeah, that's, sort of. except the TV will be People all over the place. That you go over there and look in there, it looks like an episode of The Reels happening in there. <laughs> and that's what we're going to have to walk past every time. Inspirational, uplifting black women. That's going to set a good tone. That's good juju in the room. It actually might be. We might actually become better people. This is a tie. <laughs> I go, man, I go, do I have tips for fall? <laughs> Number one. Listen, Jacob. I <laughs> if you tell them if they move us in there, I'm changing formats of the show. Dude, we'll go Me super and Dan bright. are going to go fucking super something, just something different. Fashion, all fashion. And right I'll tell you now. this: I'm going to wear sports coats with big shoulder pads. In. <laughs> yeah, big Steve Harvey esque. I'm going to dress pads. like Paula Poundstone, 1987. Dude, let's call it Pound Town. With, no, that's too sexual. We're taking it to Pound Town. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a good double entendre. Are we even an XL station when we're over there, how Jacob? Is, how does can, Paul, they, can we broadcast this filth over there? How does Paula Poundstone not have a podcast called Pound Town? Oh, that's a new word. For I think Paula podcast Paula Poundstone's podcast Pound Town. I think she got into a little bit of a hiccup in her career by something with diddling young girls. Oh, that's yeah. probably why. Look that up. Is she she's a child molester? Something. Oh, wasn't it like her foster kids? So you lure them in by wearing big fucking clownish blazers and laying around on stools. <laughs> and they go, this woman's not going to touch me sexually. She's Paula Poundstone dressed like a fly girl. By the way, why did no one no one gives Def Jam comic shit for ripping off stool fucking for Paula Poundstone? Yeah, right. She was the OG on that. She's laying it down. <laughs> now this is how I did podcast to her voice. Yo, special shout out That's to the OG Paula P. <laughs> Dude, laying it down on them stools for years now. I swear to God, if there's ever a female rapper named Paula Poundstone, I will buy all of her albums oh, just yeah. for the fact I'll that she her. called herself. You're like great reference, Judy Tenute. <laughs> Judy Tenute. <laughs> what is it? Judy, Judy Tenuta? Judy Tenuta. I got them all. Rita Rudner. Ah, uh, this is from fucking tw 2001? Yeah, I, I think that she she got, did a plea deal, it says. She pleaded out. Mm -hmm. She was arrested in 2001 by Santa Monica police and charged with lewd acts upon a child and child endangerment. Oh, man. She reached the settlement, so it went away. Mm -hmm. so it just, it did kind of just go away. Yeah. Apparently, it was. Uh, I'm trying to. She, she was a foster parent. No car. And it was foster kids. So. Yeah. <laughs> she's just doing, more she's that. just in prison doing like observational like, humor. So, uh, you know, I just got some foster kids, uh, you know what's great about house pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what's great, what's great about being a pedophile and a foster parent? The system feeds you. <laughs> just in prison doing pro. <laughs> uh, that's my birthday every day. You know what I'm saying, babe? I don't know why I'm making it Dennis Miller. Hey, babe. I don't mean to go off on a rant. I don't mean to go off on a rant here, but you know what's great about having foster kids? You know what, babe? You get to pick the hottest ones. <laughs> you can it's keep like, the hottest ones and send the others back. I, I feel I feel a higher selection in my <laughs> utter age pussy than Jamarcus Russell going to the Raiders, babe. Okay. <laughs> Christine, can you bring up some uh, Paula Poundstone so, so we can get the impression? Yeah, yeah. No, I know. Bring up some Paula so we can get a feel for the vibe so we can do our pedophile <laughs> jokes. Pedophile <laughs> I want to... I want to nail it a little better for these pedophile jokes. And it's a great alliteration. Pedophile Paula Poundstone oh, for, as a character. Fantastic. Bravo presents. Touching them. Look what the cat dragged in. Kids. Ladies and gentlemen, Paula Poundstone. All right, you don't got to get to the middle.
Mm-hmm. What do you want to see if she regales him with a go? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like fucking Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> and he said, well, you said you wanted everything. And so I had no idea. I had to list every hideous, disgusting <laughs> thing. I didn't realize. Hold on, she's almost got my voice. She's nowhere near a roast beef. <laughs> she, has your voice. she has your head. Oh, it, oh like, God. Dan, <laughs> I swear to you, if you said Paul Poundstone was Dan and Drag, I could make you believe that. I could absolutely make you believe that Paul Poundstone is Drag Dan. 100% from an angle. 100%. I'm going like this. I'm going, did I fucking... Was I Paul Poundstone? <laughs> was I Paul Poundstone? <laughs> Maybe I never did go to Alaska. What, what happened? <laughs> you were hypnotized thinking you went to oh. Alaska. You were just... Oh. Paula oh Pound still for a decade. Oh, I go, what's going on with her? Uh... It really does look like she, Dan. <laughs> look at that bow tie. Dude, dude, I want Dan to go as Paula Pound still for dude. Halloween. Can we do a Halloween live show? Oh, it's too dude, short. They're too they're short. They're sticker treat. Oh, dude. Go as Paula Poundstone, dude. You yeah. already got the wig. We already uh, got the. Yeah. the you just gotta get a fucking. Just I gotta. You just gotta. I gotta, gotta dress like a circus trainer. No, I have all that except the bow tie. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we could slap this together with little to no ease. You think you're built similar? With little to no problem. I am dumb. Uh, hit play so we can get the voice. Okay, no coconut. Uh, okay, no coconut. Uh, Russians really are the scariest people. Um, <laughs> Paul Poundstone Dan call my, call my grandma. Uh, you know, I have my grandma voice. <laughs> it's, it's a little uh, Kermit the Frog for me. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, because it's deeper. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. We're going to get it. I won't. I will. No you grapefruit. Will. No grapefruit. No grapefruit. It's almost my Janet Reno. If you use Necco wafers, not the black ones. If you use Necco wafers. I will get it. I old enough to bleed, old enough to butcher. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> so sad. They actually they know that I don't cook. Oh, no. And, uh, she's and talking, about, came on to she's me. talking kids. Oh, really? This is 2006, though, so this is after. No, she's like, the little dad. one's the hot one. <laughs> <laughs> I try to fuck all of them. You gotta, I take them all out to dinner. I say, <laughs> the middle one likes red wine. That's the easy mark. <laughs> the little one's the hottie. Yeah. If it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. <laughs> my, aunt, my kids ask me, why is every birthday party a pool party? I say, because mama's got to have fun, too. <laughs> Wet little bodies. <laughs> Everybody can get changed in my room. <laughs> Jesus. We've seen an ingredient in my entire life. I it's swear. okay, ladies. We're all the same here. Oh, <laughs> girl Dan? Girl She Dan. That's what Jacob called her. Jacob called her She Dan. She Dan. It's she perfect. Dan's the best. Why do, they, why do they want to take this magic and fuck with it and move us over to a shit studio? Well, if they do, it's going to get real honest. It's oh. going to get Jay and Dan getting That's not- real. God, God damn it, we've given you 11 opportunities to grab that, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> we changed subjects for a minute, so we, we have, can give you time to pull it up. I have hinted severely that we're going back you to You made me job. sing an a cappella. I felt like an asshole the second I was done. <laughs> I got rid of it. I hated it. What? Find it. Oh, dude. Why did you hate it? Why, yeah, what, what did we do to you? Today on the show, Jacob learns how to dress more like a shark. Black Lou learns how to shed his name that some people at Comedy Central find offensive and embrace LJ. <laughs> Lou Witzke, he just stares at us. <laughs> and Chris, Christine's going to hit you with Fashion Corner. And Big J and Dan, they're there to be stoned and useless. What's it's going the on? Bonfire. Are Jessica Beale and JT hitting rough waters? Let's find out. Is Cardi B the still the it girl? <laughs> Get ready for a whole format shift if they move us. And you guys will have to be the ones to tell Sirius that they took us out of our nest as baby birds. And just threw us on the street to it's the radio. Die. It'll be the radio, Andy. Where they are now, Jacob. Can we play act right here? I'm gonna. Sh- I'm gonna be the guy saying, 
You Fred. can't do this. I want to hear how you're going to go to him. This is good. This is very good because I think we need more role play with Jacob. I want to make sure you go in there fucking Jay, well, guns blazing. I think Jacob gets in the room and I think he locks up a little bit. And Jacob, I don't want to say that to I your face. I lock up on the air. I'm not going to no, be I'm not going to do this well. Please. This is our home. You are fighting for our home. I will help train you in any way I can. Well, who's it you're speaking to? I just want to get, well, I want to get my character right. It's going to be a, first you, you don't tell me a name, but I'm saying am I talking to a, this is am I what talking Jay to does. a Polish? Am I talking to a, this is what Jay does. He builds his character from the inside. Out, starting with eth- ethnicity. Well, first I'm just going to bring Jew? up to Don. Are you going to go break bread with a Jew? Because <laughs> you know Jay's policy on that. <laughs> Don Wickland. Okay. What cowboy is that last name. What is that last name? I should start with the cowboy. Waspy? Start with the cowboy boots. Go up. Is it Wickland's cowboy boots. Yeah. I don't even have. Okay. I'm just going to be. I'm just going to be. I'm just going to worst case scenario. Okay. Uh-uh. Don. But, you know he's. Mm-hmm. This is stage he one. Don's the first uh, boss of the. I'm playing Spider-Man the video. You're going to so walk in. Really you're going to levels. I'm gonna you, tell him. You're going to walk into my office. Let's go from the beginning here. Go ahead. Uh, uh, come in. Hi, Don. Fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Uh, we've been told that we have to switch studios, and uh, it's really not going to work for us. Studio Five is is kind of our home, and we've established ourselves in there. And Dan and Jay are not happy with the fact that we have to that we're going to start the show almost at six o'clock as a show right up until showtime before us and why should i give a shit about that now pause now jacob i know right here you think let me just take this i'll just take this but this is where you stand up what why would i just take (laughs) (laughs) how come you're just automatically (laughs) come on you got five hoodies on here (laughs) you ever grown the beard out i'm growing it out it looks good all right, I'm being Don Wicklin right now. All right, I'm sorry. Ready, time Don's going to say, okay, let me see what I can do. <laughs> can I? All right. Who's the next guy? We'll continue. Do, Who's the next guy? Do, I, I don't want to be Don Wicklin anymore anyway. This is why I wish there was always a video element to this show. I was still let down by that. Jay's just exhale <laughs> while on the radio meant nothing. In my mind was one of the funniest things I've seen in weeks because Jacob just I goes, Don, I'll just say it's okay. Go, Jacob. Jacob just goes, <laughs> <laughs> like just like, well, there goes my character. Oh, uh, fuck. that was great. Who's the next guy? Is it is it Rob Serious? Have you made your way up to Perry Serious? How about Dandla Dandla Pound Soder? Yeah, uh, Soda Stone. Dude, she Dan is. You're not getting better than she Dan. We, we might have to ask Comedy Central or so, Soda Stone. They have That's to push. I, I just Comedy Central. Like, just give me. But how to the grindstone are you ready to go here? Or what what reasons are you prepared to tell them why this is a uh, this is a farce? Mm-hmm. Well, the main issue we have is that is that we're not going to be able to get on the air until they're not leaving the studio until five fifty eight. Will you throw in terms like borderline criminal? What you're doing to us? <laughs> oh yes, that's good. That Will really you drum up support? Please, really get in there with anti-Semitic, yes. anti-black, yes, anti-FAS, fetal alcohol syndrome. You think fucking Polacks are too stupid to understand what's even happening? You just put him yeah. in another room with blue walls. He's going to think he's home. Yeah, he's not a fish. He's a person, dude. It's a goddamn person. Holy. Sorry. Whoa. I didn't know I was dressed like the colonel on Colbert. Oh, damn. Remember you were Willy Wonka that one time on Colbert? It looks like if her and Emo, uh, like, uh, Emo Phillips, like if I was Emo Phillips' <laughs> son. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, um, you're their son. I like, no, no, like I like to, I like to blend in like a, with peppermint so little girls eat me. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the interview. I want to mm-hmm. get this voice down. This country we call America. Uh, electing Trump is to Americans what beaching themselves is to whales. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You don't know why. <laughs> girl Dan. Stand it. Not, not Agent Well. <laughs> That is girl Dan. Yeah, dude. It's, it's Jesus scary. Christ. It's scary to see yourself in feminine form. <laughs> oh, but you're not a hot this? chick. Dude, can I tell you this, though? Handsome uh, son of a bitch. Handsome. Handsome woman. No, you're a handsome man. Oh, you thank are. You. You're a downright ghastly woman. Downright ghastly woman. <laughs> yeah. She is. It looks like a man with long hair. It looks what like if, Emo Phillips. What really. if I told you that Paula Poundstone's my mom? That'd be so great. If Trish was Paula The dish Poundstone. the whole time? I go, Dan, you're going to give her my... You had to relocate because she was yeah. from diddling girls? Yeah, because of my sisters, my foster sisters. Oh. I, went, I, I never did anything. I didn't stand up to her. I was too busy laying on a stool. Uh, as you in therapy... And I just watched. Yeah. I just watched. She made very funny observations about all the situations. 
Look at Dan over there in the corner doing a thing, and I got, <laughs> I got, my, I got my hand up a 14-year-old. <laughs> I don't know why yours is like a old time here, like, so, I, I don't know what you were. Back in the day, a gentleman knew how to put down his you're coat like, over a puddle for a long time. You're like an old madame with jaw cancer. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to my boudoir. I don't know, my face looks like Darth Vader with you're a the mask on. You're the voice guy. It's, I, I... Just yeah, I just want to go I wanna always. Go, I want to go Janet Reno the whole time. It's a little bit of that, but yeah. it definitely has. I'm not. My thing's not based on nothing. No, that's just got like, <laughs> play a little more. Right. The only difference is we don't have another species to shove us back in the water. <laughs> water in the water. Where's she from? Look up where she's from. Oh, God. By the way, I love playing the pause game. Just keep pausing. Let go. Pause again. Yeah. Let go. Pause again. You can't find one of her looking even passably not like a tranny. <laughs> She's an actual woman and a non-passable tranny. Yeah. There, there are, there's trans people that are like, oh, man, if I would have started with that, I would have been like, She's an actual woman. You'd still go up to her and be like, dude, give it up. Yeah. You are not pulling it off, bro. Could you not have the money for it? What is the problem? She's like, I'm a woman. Your bolo tie keeps getting caught in your Adam's apple. Adam's apple. She's from Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama? Is that what you're giving it? Put a little twanger on it. Alabama? I don't know. Well, I, well, I talk to kids there. You want to go into a drive through like liquor store? Oh, nothing like a summer evening with my daughter wearing <laughs> her shoulder pads. Oh, laying on that stoop, just seeing everything that goes by. I like this. I like the mythology of it's uh, young Dan. Like, you just didn't want to deal with things when yeah. you were younger. Dude, you don't talk about it anymore. I go, Dan Poundstone. <laughs> <I> talk- <laughs> Daniel Poundstone. I'm just actually a rich, affluent kid. Of the Poundstones? Of the Poundstones. You were the one foster kid who didn't talk? Yeah. I go, I don't know. Snitches get stitches. And oh. if you don't snitch, you know what you do? You can stay in mom's house in Bel Air. She looks like, Paula Poundstone looks like, that she grew up as you <laughs> with a very uh, aggressive, angry, mean, abusive mother. Yeah, my mom and wasn't. Then, a, I'm not saying. No, no, I'm no. saying this is what she looks like. Yeah, that if you grew up with an abusive mother who you eventually one day killed but kept, mm-hmm. and then would dress up like once in a while <laughs> and do her voice and kill local passersby at your motel. Yeah, there's there's a complete fucking uh, a little Daniel Bates, Bates in there yeah, also. Yeah, there's a little Daniel Poundstone, a little mother, Daniel Bates. Mother, I noticed that dating is weird. I just run bits by her. She's dating is really weird, especially goes, when the yeah, no. state says you're their guardian. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, you know the scene eventually where you see the guy dressed as the <laughs> mom trying to kill him. It's just me, and I go, you know, being a voice guy has its benefits. He <laughs> 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 can catch phrases. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I went to the grocery store the other day. You look what the cat tried to <laughs> Dan, it's you! <laughs> riffing her fucking <laughs> shitty jokes. Riffing her. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, there it is. I've turned out my looper. In the future, I become Paul Pounds. Paul Pounds. <laughs> Should we thank, before we take our first break, should we thank some more of the listeners for some of the stuff they have sent here? Oh, yeah, you got. I get to be jealous, Dan, today because you got a wood etching. Oh, that's not the first thing I'm reading. Oh, cool. We have a uh, we got a note from uh, Timothy Wilkerson who is he says you're all gonna die in the military. He says I'm watching you right now. Um, Black Lou busting out all the gifts. What are these? He says it's a fucking great. Uh, is this? You want to open it up? Right. What, this right here, Dan. You right. you pull the stuff out and I'll read the thing. I can't I have Black Lou. Okay. So I can see. Well, it's over there. It's like a fair. Yeah, yeah, I got you. What? Dude. That oh, is my God. Is that awesome. a Trish and Terry side <laughs> queen? Dude, that's so awesome. Trish and Terry side queen sweatshirts. And they're doing the Predator handshake. <laughs> Hell yeah. By the way, you're not far off of my mom's hair. I mean, you got, right. you're going late eight. You're going 70s Trish on the hair. She went, uh, she started going perm in the 80s. But that's solid. Dude, that's it's fucking so good. great. Who's that from? Same guy. That's this letter. Yes. The military. Mm-hmm. This guy's in the military and he made a Trish and Terry size queen. This is Crackle Crackle Bonfire crew. I love the show. I've been listening to the show since the beginning when I was in the military and I would listen on my drive home every day. I was so happy when you guys added another day. We added two days. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I thought I would return a little bit of what you guys give me with some gifts. Uh, Danny saw your show. Uh, 
it will be, he's going to go see your show. Hmm, you finally get to see your show because you're close enough to El Paso. You're going to Texas soon? Uh, I'm going to New Mexico. I'm going to be at a casino in New Mexico. Oh, nice. It's going to be and his. Tucson and, his, and Tempe. It's going to be his. His, ooh, it's going to be his and his wife's first comedy show. Hell yeah. She How has big bombs. boobs, he's telling you. She has <laughs> big boobs. Yes. Um, Good for you. His note from a few shows ago, seeing as he was an Army bomb squad guy, explosive ordnance disposal, is that a black female officer shaking her ass would be so rare. Uh, EOD is mostly crazy, big-dicked white boys. Females are rare, and black people are even more rare. <laughs> I saw three my entire time in EOD. Yeah, they're getting fired for shaking their asses, their naked but naked pool party things. Is that what he's talking about? Yeah, I think that's what he's talking about. Yeah, for, I, I, listen, it was insane. Yeah. <laughs> said a bunch of officers got fired, like in trouble for it last year, but they're doing it again because they lied about DMX being there. <laughs> Uh, he got me the TNT sweatshirt. They did not have all the, any tall sweatshirts, but I hope it works. Uh, Christine will always sleep in if not. Um, Danny got you a TNT shirt. I hope it's everything you wanted. However, yeah. they didn't have pockets on the front. Oh, it's all like, good. This is fucking great, dude. This is fucking <laughs> sick. White Lou got you some Pearl Jam stickers because they didn't have patches. Fuck yeah. Jacob Airwolf Batata got you an Airwolf patch to put on your flight suit. I love it. Black Lou, I got you a Dallas Cowboy sticker with your name on it. Christina, I got you. Oh, dude. I just noticed the front. This is the back, the same design as the sweatshirt. It's the fucking, yeah. this is the back. But on the front, it says TNT and then a ruler under it. That's fucking great. <laughs> That's really a great shirt. Black Lou! That's awesome. That's a really awesome ah, dude, this is great, man. Christina got you a sublime patch hey! and, added, and added some of my Del Taco hot sauce. Being from California, I have to have it imported to me. Uh, by that, I mean ordering one burrito and taking all the hot sauce. They have it every time. Uh, love all you guys and the show. Crackle, crackle, Tim Wilkerson. Ah, dude, and thanks, he sent, us, uh, he sent us like a military, like a cool military pin. Thank you, Tim. That is thanks. so fucking awesome. Yeah, we man. love it's you guys. amazing I, thing. I mean, um, we appreciate that shit so much. That TNT shirt is awesome. And the other thing, what we, is this the note for the thing here? Yes. A uh, wood Tim. etching. I thought the Instagram photo from a couple weeks ago was pretty cool. I decided to make a wood sign from it. Thank you for the great entertainments from Aaron. Aaron, thank you so much. That's so cool. That is awesome. It's an etching of Jay's face. We'll tweet it out at the bonfire. It's the, uh, from album. Crowdwork. Yeah, the Crowdwork. Uh, uh, sesh, which you can go download now. Uh, Crowdwork Sessions Volume 2. I promised myself I wouldn't ask. From Comedy Central Records. Go download that at BigJComedy.com. Um, he had a wood etching made, so now I get to be jealous Dan. It's pretty amazing. You inspire whittling. Hey, look, is my nose a little pointier than it is in real life? Jay, Absolutely. the man whittled. Absolutely. No, he didn't whittle it. I think, I, I don't know if it's like etching or burning. It's, it's fucking amazing. It's actually really such a cool piece of art. And thank you so much, Aaron. That is, yeah. uh, that is such a cool thing. I met, uh, a lot of fans, uh, at least we did Legion of Skanks in Boston this yeah. past weekend. I met a lot of fans there. And I, I think I may have met the guy who sent this, who said he sent some stuff to the studio. I was making sure, but that's awesome. Dude, all, a bunch of the fans send stuff, man. We try to get to uh, all of it to announce on air, but it's, uh, it's amazing, dude. It feels so fucking nice. The that's skank great. shows were unbelievable. It's 4, 4 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. And they were both like packed and just like, it was really uh, cool. And, and tons of, uh, Sons of Gary shirts Hell yeah. and Bonfire shirts and just people yelling out crackle crackle even in the skanks it's all love you know yeah, what I mean? it's fucking, yeah. it was it's great the same man family. it was uh it was really cool really well, cool dude, to see that thank you so much for those gifts and you guys are the fucking best let's take our first break we have a guest coming in at I know, 7 so we got we got to do these breaks quick yeah we got to do a short break we'll be right back it's the bonfire and now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder oh man <laughs> Love Gun, Kiss, Bonfire, coming yeah. to the radio, Sirius XM 95, Studio yeah. 5, as of now. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. We have an awesome guy. We have to do such a short segment here. Do we have a guest coming? Short I do want to say yeah. I will continue on from before the commercial and say that uh, Smoke Oklahoma Barbecue, this is, and I'm not exaggerating, this is the best beef. That that brisket one unbelievable. is insane. Yeah, the, the cracked pepper. Can you me those Playboys? It doesn't feel like jerky at all. It's like meat. And also, shout out, who sent the Playboys? I thought the note was on them, so. It just says our name, Vanilla Dan and Big J. <laughs> Does that mean we're not allowed to <laughs> jerk off know. to the other he's, one? He's, no, yeah, we're assigned. I got China, which, you know, shout out, on brand with wrestling. I've jacked to her you porn before. Kiana, you got Kiana Tom. Oh, here it is. Good job, Jacob. Good find. Thanks a lot, Craig. Um, he said, you know, I think you might appreciate these from our my collection. And we do. We look through them. They're very lovely. 
You ever jacked a I'm China a- porn? Uh, no. Why? See, I don't know. I didn't find her attractive. No, but it's like a freak show. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to jerk to a freak show. <laughs> she took it in the butt, dude. A bunch. Cool. <laughs> Why do I have to try that? From wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> took it in the shitter. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like, hey, hats off. Right out there, I feel like it's very obvious. This is Jack material. Am I crazy? Yeah, no, that doesn't make my, my wiener move. <laughs> cool China, button. DX. Bam, no, 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 no. Boom. <laughs> but just stand there. Hunter Hearst Hel- Hunter Hunter Helmsley's <laughs> girlfriend. The surreal life. Laid down. Yeah. Filled that paperwork. Yeah. Dressed up like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> and that know? guy's fuck her in the ass, dude. That's crazy. Okay, but that, that, that automatically necessitates that I have to jerk off to it? Yeah, damn. It does. I don't know how else to say. I was going to try to dance around yeah, it. Yeah, but no, it does. It does. I don't want to watch that. It does. I mean, really. I want to watch that. I don't want to, like, jerk off to it, maybe. You jerk off to the sunny porn? I, w- I could jerk off to that. Now, she is horrific looking in that porn. Is she? Horrific looking. Then probably not. But you still would. You I mean, know I'm why? Vanilla Dan. I can it's go back to sunny. Pro- I can go back to promo shoots of her in a bikini and get one off. Oh, God. I don't need much room, dude. <laughs> I'm like, Is that a lot of wiggle? I'm, you like, know? I'm like that Asian dude in Ocean's Eleven. I'll get in through a fucking heating vent. <laughs> <laughs> You're in pocket. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want me to do? What are we going to do? How do I got to jerk this thing? <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> no problem, man. <laughs> I'll go smell. I need two more minutes. I need two extra minutes. I go smell. You got a bounty sheet? I'll pop in five seconds. Call Rip right here. <laughs> I can get it right where How many ropes you want? Call it. Yeah. You want me to lay yeah. in three or just one long one? Call it. Call it. <laughs> call it. I uh, can't call it. I can't. Um, he's such a short segment, but such a good guest or a d- awful guest. <laughs> this could go real good or I think real it's bad. Be Let's funny. Keep, plug time. Big J is going to be at Comics Mohican Sun September 20th through the 22nd. Then at Yuck Yucks in Calgary, Alberta is the Providence. September 28th and 29th. Get tickets at bigjcomedy.com. Also, don't forget to download his album, Crowd Work. Sessions Volume 2. I promised myself I wouldn't ask. Oh, and Big J and uh, Bennington are going to be coming to Philly's Keystone Comic Con. To request tickets, go to the Enterobang.com to go see Big J and Ron Bennington live in Philly for the Comic Con. Yeah, it's fun. It's going to be like a crossover thing. We're going to have it awesome. in the pocket here. For They'll play it on Bennington. We'll play it here Double uh, one day. Double dip. It'll be very fun. But yeah, me and Ronnie are going to have some fun out there. That'll be badass. We announce the guests we have? Mm-hmm. Yep. We have uh, the only ones confirmed, right? Yeah. Uh, Bam Margera is going to hang out. That's, so that's pretty awesome. Cool. That'll oh, yeah. be a lot of fun. That's a, the a very Philly heavy. Three Philly legends collide. <laughs> All in one place. At Me and Rod. Comic-Con. Skateboard legends. Bam Margera. The guy Movie that, star. Maybe the guy that Invincible was based on. <laughs> Rocky. Is this all? Is this <laughs> yeah, it was almost the guy that Invincible is based oh, really? on. <laughs> Polly. Yeah, that's great. The guy's a ham. He can uh, only do Sunday. Oh, uh, that's great. He does the, uh, Invincible Polly's got the same energy of, uh, when Jerry Cooney. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do, oh, do Jerry Cooney, every yeah. time, I've never still once Shaking his hand and he doesn't do the, oh, guy, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> I mean, every handshake, it's just it's what like he does. Uncle Jerry. Yeah, dude, he's so fun and he's so big and menacing. Well, go own a restaurant, you weirdo. <laughs> perfect, right? That's the That's perfect restaurant way. energy yeah, for sure. Does. It's great. He goes, great. You guys enjoying the ZD? You enjoy it? Yeah, oh, yeah, no. It was beautiful. The sauce came out so beautiful today. He goes, I, I love you. He goes, oh, hey, easy champ. Oh, you hurt my hand. Hey. Goes, that, oh. cal- that calamari uh, gets a little spicier than when I took a jab from Ali. You get what I'm saying? Uh, kid, get that. Let's take a picture. Ah! <laughs> you guys, a little kid hitting him. Oh yeah! Everybody always. watch out for this killer. Oh. Anyway, so you guys got Gloria. Let me send it back over. Here. Send you guys over some desserts. You guys want a tiramisu? You gotta try a tiramisu. <laughs> yeah. Anybody allergic to peanuts? All right, I'll be right back. I love that energy. Gar- uh, Garapay has that energy. It's very sweet energy. Yeah, oh. Garapay has that energy for sure. He should definitely own a restaurant. Because I was like, "How you doing? You going all right? You need anything? You're like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? It's a sweet, sweet person. Um. I want to really... Uh, oh, your dates, I'm sorry. Oh, it's cool. wrapped up in the thing. I'm sorry. It's my fault. No, it's all right, man. Uh, Dan, of course, is going to be in Sacramento. <laughs> he's already plugged himself oh. at the punchline. September 13th through the 15th. Yeah. Uh, after that, he's going to be in Minneapolis at Acme, September 20th through the 22nd. For tickets and all the... T- oh, it's so cool. We're going to be... Uh, we're going to Minneapolis. We're like pretty close back to back. Really? Oh, man. I was hoping... More like a month later. Damn it. I'm always hoping that would, I'm waiting for that one time where it's just magically we're in the same city at the same time. That would be, I that would be good. People don't have to really go to a lot of two comedy shows in a week at two or places. Just, yeah, or just douche. Uh, for tickets and all other tour dates, 
Go to dansoder.com. What if I just did the next plug? I just <laughs> started plugging the guests. Like, what are you doing? What are no, you we doing? Plug the guests. We should talk about it. I think. Yeah. What are we going to talk in. about? Uh, well, who we have coming in here is uh, in just about ten minutes. Gene Simmons from Kiss. Yeah. Which is, I'm pretty giddy about it overall. It's going to. I think be it's going to be super. I mean, it's like cool. <laughs> it's cool. Coming, but you're very negative. On I'm not stuff negative. Like this. I'm, very I'm negative. not negative at all. I'm very. But here's the thing. We have excited. To write, I'm very excited. You have to listen to what this, and please bring up again how many songs that he has, Gene Simmons' vault. original solo work that he'll listen to with you. He'll listen to it with you. That's the vault experience. Hey, it's part of the experience. How much, what if, if I buy you a vault, will you hate me? No. I buy, it's like two grand. A, what? Well, I hate you. No, I think it'd be great. Dude, I'll pay two grand. Tell you he, goes, he goes, dude, he goes, you want to come over watching UFC tonight? He goes, no, Dan, I got to sit with fucking Gene Simmons and I write know. a song right now I because go. you paid for it, remember? <laughs> and you're going to hang it over my fucking head all I the time. Go, uh, you yeah. plug in your Sonos yet? I go, oh, well, that's I great did. news because I'm going to be over here writing a song with Gene Simmons. So I don't know, time. Gene Simmons, something about an old car, some reference to an old car in your dick. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm living I a go. nightmare, you son of a bitch. Thank you. I go, dude. Two I'll, grand well spent, prick. I was going to tell you to come over and play video games you go, yeah, yeah no we're uh we're in the still in the front half of his catalog so. i'd love to man but i got three of five tracks i need recorded right now so wait what is the i'm one trying on, to lay down some bass I mean, Dan, i'm gonna have to play the bass i guess we can ask him <laughs> yeah he's gonna play bass i guess we can ask him what the entire vault experience is i might buy you the vault experience right here on the show uh, the vault exp- you buy right here two grand, you. Play two grand then? just for your inconvenience one day <laughs> and it'd be, the fu- and it'd be the funniest most expensive yeah. gag gift I've ever heard of yeah but I'm almost kind of I don't know what it is I don't know if it's cold weather and I like sweatshirt seasons back but I kind of want to buy you the vault experience I don't know if you have it in your be- in your book bag but it would be great just why, to watch why would your- you possibly but it would be great if you had a checkbook in your back and wrote the check right now and gave it to him <laughs> just to register. he goes here take care of my friend Jay tonight there like you if I can pay a hooker yeah. to suck my dick without telling me there you go and by the way, go slow over the early stuff. He likes the early he stuff. He goes, honest guy, he goes, when you get to the solo patch, you stretch that. <laughs> Were you really going to make the bulk of the time your solo work? This is so funny to buy you're unre- this. Your unreleased solo This is so funny to buy this to inconvenience your friend. Cause great. Because I, I know Jay, and Jay would be like, yeah, dude, fucking Gene Simmons' assistant called me and asked me when we are setting up this fucking <laughs> experience. He's only in the city for another week. It's like, oh my God! You hear our buddy just got a TV show. He goes, you know, it'd be a funny present to get him. Let's let's bur- let's burn number Gene Simmons for a night. <laughs> Seriously, I think that's so funny. If you have that kind of money and you're like, dude, fuck it, I'm really in the mood. To just-, <laughs> just like a friend of yours who hates Kiss. <laughs> So great. Just make my with Gene Simmons for a fucking day and just go just in. Just somewhere yeah. where it would, be, it would be so ridiculous, like Leonard yeah. Oots. Yeah. He'd be like, man, what did you do? Yeah. Just like such like a, like a, a random, like throw a dart, like Jermaine Fowler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hanging out with Gene Simmons would be just hilarious. Or like, uh, yeah. That's just burden him. Micro- Dan, uh, Dan Mike, Natterman. Mike Racine. He's like, I gotta do what? Hey, you gotta hang out with Gene Simmons. You got eight hours with Gene Simmons. For the whole afternoon? <laughs> Cause, yeah, cause I got a ten grand bonus on a show. I got, uh, you, but you can only have him for two hours. Then two hours after that, somebody else gets him. The best would be to get it for Vecchione and then to watch him force appreciation. And where he's like, "No, dude, that's a great gift." I'm like, "Oh, that's the guy." He goes, that was, "That was uh that was thoughtful, man." He goes, "I didn't. Did you hear me say something at one point?" I was like, "I'm a Kiss fan. I like him. I do like him. No, no, I do like him. I do. It'll be dude, fun. No, it'll be fun. It'll just, be fun. You just nailed him when you go." Did you hear me like say something? Like, no, I what uh? Did you hear me have a conversation or what I said? That I don't ever. Uh, it's crazy. I that, like them. No, I like them. No, I appreciate. I like them. You doing this for me is super nice. So I I have to do it though. <laughs> like, can I give it to someone that's like, if I have a friend that's a Kiss fan, I'm like, no. It has to be you. Hey Dan, I gotta ask you. I regift this. How mad are you? One to ten. <laughs> yeah. I go, ooh, he goes, I'm a freely gay. <laughs> I've always been a freely guy. I'm a freely gay. I'm a Stanley man. Yeah, I'm a Stanley man myself. I know. A thing all too. I do want to write a song with him. Can we ask how much that would cost? Just that? Oh, uh, buddy. He's go. not showing up just to write a song with you. That's the ultimate. That's the ultimate. What's the ultimate? $50,000. That's $50,000? I think so. How how much is this joke worth? <laughs> yeah. Not enough to fucking take. We food discussed out of- on the show. I would crowdfund this. If everyone gives a little, we could burden somebody with Gene Simmons for a day. I mean, that would be an ultimate gift for. If by the it- way, as an ultimate gift, it's, it's very expensive. But as an ultimate gift, if you're a fan, 
It's unbelievable. It's the ultimate. It's the ultimate thing. The humor of this would be sending him to someone who is not interested, who <laughs> severely <laughs> dislikes Kiss, is really not into it at all. <laughs> and that's it. All right, we got to get our laughs out because he's like Red Man. <laughs> <laughs> we can Red get set up with Red Man. Oh, dude, if we set set James Simmons, actually, they, Red Man would want to hang out. <laughs> Red Man would probably want to hang. They probably have a lot to talk yeah. about. Yeah, they would have a lot to talk about. Can, get, can we get Red Man back on the show? Oh yeah, remember he was going to come back with Method Man. <laughs> what a Gary! That was our first year. Yeah, he really garyed us hard. He garyed us hard right in our first year. He's like, well, we did present him uh, official a weird race. studio in the daytime thing. Is the way we did it up there at that time, mm -hmm. and uh, and then. He could have come back and seen our awesome studio, and now they're like, get the fuck out of this one, too. Go over there. Yeah. Does Red Man like that one more? Well, Red Man... Because there's sassy black women doing if we're sassy good, black radio in there? If we're good... The Vault Experience. If we have, yeah, we're good boys. <laughs> we have to go in there two seconds after they finish their show and open the door and let out all the mm-hms. <laughs> <laughs> we got to clear the room of mm-hms before we start our show. <laughs> They're lingering in the air, those mm -hmm. There's a deep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, I... These white boys coming in, talk a bunch of crazy mess. Mm -hmm. Talk about one of them looks like a man pile of pound stone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I seen it. I yeah. seen it. Yeah. I think that... I think that... I think the one with the big head is Paul Poundstone's kid. <laughs> you big head with Paul Poundstone's kid? I don't yeah. know about the other guy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the other guy looks like a smash mouth or something. Um, dude, Girl. I'm reading what the vault home experience is. Gene Handler was the vault, yeah. and you can invite up to 25 friends and family. You know, remember we talked about this? We said about having to stand in the corner and inviting 25 people to in that interview. <laughs> I don't remember. Now that. we got handed to us. We don't know what to do with ourselves. I don't remember talking about that, but that is hilarious. Really? Do you remember that, Jacob, at all? This whole, yeah, we broke guys, this whole thing down. Guys, I'm pretty sure I took some shots back in high school. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't remember that he has... If I blow my chest out. Oh, 100... MCT. Find that number, please. What is it? How many 150. Uh, 150 unreleased Gene Simmons tracks. And look up again for me. Uh, Rolling Stone songs. And that's Zeppelin songs. $50,000. Yep. Yeah. I want to know how many people have bought this. I He's going to play 150 songs in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> he writes and look at you the whole time. Right? I hope he looks at you the whole time. He looks at you and goes, it's good, right? Yeah, I go, what? Like, it's, real, it's really good. What? It's really good. It's really good. All right, let's take our break. We'll, come back. we'll come back with 108 the songs. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll, that one. Yeah, we're going to come back with the uh, lead singer of Kiss, the Demon Prince himself. It's the bonfire. Gene Simmons is going to be right here. I'm going to get him to give me some shoes. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95, Big J Okerson, Dan Soder. Hello. Uh, might as well plug it again because our guest is not in the studio. Dan Soder's going to be in Sacramento at the Punchline, September 13th through the 15th. After that, he's going to be in Minneapolis at Acme Comedy Club, September 20th through the 22nd. I'm always told one of the best comedy clubs. That's great. Um, for times. tickets and all other tour dates, visit dansoder.com. Also, uh, I'm going to be doing, uh, Fenoya asked if I could, uh, he's got a show, Amigos, tomorrow night at the Fat Black Pussycat. I'm going to be on that. Jay was on last week. I will be on this week. Fun crowd last week. Really yeah. good show. So check it out. I'll be at the Fat Black Pussycat tomorrow night at 8.30 for Mike Fenoya's Amigos! Amigos! Big J gonna be at Comics, Mohegan Sun, September 20th through the 22nd. I'm gonna fill that up, man. Yeah. I'm gonna fill that place. I'm so come on out. Sun. If you're, if you're in like the New England area, come out to doing, Comics, I, Mohegan Sun. And I just did a Rhode Island, which is a little like close, but yeah. like a, I'm, I'm work, I'm fucking crowd working on this yeah, the whole show. Yeah, you're gonna see a different, I, I, trust trying, me, Jay's a different show every time. I'm trying to, uh, find new stuff now. So. Yeah. And then he, if you're in Calgary, he's going to be at Yuck Yuck, September 8th and t 28th and 29th, September 28th and 29th, Calgary Yuck Yucks tickets at BigJComedy.com. And, of course, him and Bennington are going to be at the Philly Keyst Philly's Keystone Comic Con when and Tarabang.com for tickets. When I was at Yuck Yucks, Calgary last time, yeah. sold light. So. Uh, that was funny. That was the first, last time I was in Calgary, I was at Comedy Shop and mm -hmm. uh, Bert was at Yuck Yucks. And that's the first time I met Bert. Oh really? That was the first time I hung out with Bert. It was like we had. So that was a blast. Yeah, we had. I I met him after the show. I think Yuck Yuck is only two days though. Yeah, I met him right. one night after we had we had lunch. No, he was there three nights. He was there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I think. Or he, maybe he was there because I hung out with him the first night after the show, 
And then uh, we had lunch two days in a row. And I was like, man, Bert's the shit. Because it was you, Nate, Ari. was like, how have you never met Bert? Yeah. And yeah, it was very Bert. surprising. Like, oh, fuck. This guy's great. We love him. We had like a four-hour lunch. We just gabbed. Oh, oh. and here he is. Oh, is it about that time? <clears throat> Our uh, our guest's new soda money bag is available now at GeneSimmonsMoneyBag.com. He's down the hallway. <laughs> so that was early. Hi. That was a bit early. I'm Dan Soda. Hi. I'm not good okay. at radio. Hey, Hi. how are you? Hey, there he how is. GeneSimmonsMoneyBag.com. Check out the new soda money That's bag. That's an entrance. Yeah. He's got moves. James Brown. That was yeah. a shuffle. I don't know who James, James Brown, Brown was? was. Come on, you said, you said James Brown. Was. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, 40, I'm 40 years old. I know who James Brown was. Two songs. Papa's got a brand new bag. Uh, say it loud. Uh, oh, very good. The payback. Yeah. I was just listening to Live at the Apollo, 1962. All right, Dan, don't go yeah, crazy with I'll it now. I'm going crazy. I'm going all in. Gene, you can actually sit down. We have a seat for you over oh, here you if you'd like to, to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was just yeah. The James Brown talk took the took him away with it. Um, Welcome to the show, everybody. Gene Simmons, the legend himself, oh in studio with us. Thank you for this right, so I'm sorry you had to walk past our Playboys. They were fans sent, judged our fans. I was on the cover of Playboy. Wait, was that you and... Four Chicks. Four Chicks. That's a good one. Christine, I, th- I may have been either the only one or one of very few who've been on the cover. What's Man the- on the cover? Yeah, there's not many. No. By the way, you have something in your nose? Yeah, yeah, it's a no. Fishing break. accident or something? Yeah. No, yeah, it was we just, you know, it's funny. I made this decision in my mid-30s, too, which is pretty weird. Sucks change? So we're, yeah. And, uh, what's the most random magazine that you've ever been on? Like, have you been on, like, a, a Guns and Ammo? Like, uh, like Nazi a... Nazi Daily is probably one. No, Nazi I don't. Nazi Daily? Uh, oh, that's still in publication? They're moving that? What have I been Black, you, the... you subscribe to that, right? Yeah, just Black. To keep, just to stay ahead? Always stay five steps ahead? Yeah, because I, 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 I imagine there's got to be one that you're like, how did I end up on? Oh, like... I'm always fascinated that anybody gives me the time of day, much less, you know, <clears throat> Put me on my or what am I doing here? Wow! Yeah, well, we're talking uh, the the new book, the tw- uh, twenty seven, which uh, we also have money bag soda, money bag soda. Well, uh, kids, um, if you go to GeneSimmons dot com, you'll see all about uh, twenty seven, which is actually something I've always been fascinated with. Uh, all the famous folks who died or killed themselves or were depressed and passed at the age of twenty seven, mysteriously. Everybody from Amy Winehouse, Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix, on and on and mm-hmm. on and on. It's a huge list. It is huge. And there's even the Elephant Man from the 1800s, 27. I know really? It's very bizarre. That is true. Uh, so I was fascinated by that. And along the way, because I was, I think, dismissive, or at least I didn't think about it as much, I think the rest of us just don't think about it. But one in every five folks running around has problems, either depressed depression yeah. or self-esteem issues, uh, you get bullied and stuff, and sometimes it just leads to death. Even if you don't have depression, young folks are killing themselves off because they get bullied mentally, physically, and whatever. So what I want to do is, this is the first debut book on Simmons Books, This Incarnation, yeah. and the the sugar coating of it is, gee, I'll pick it up because I'm interested in Kurt or Amy Winehouse and yeah. so on. And maybe this will this will wake people up to the fact that your own family members or your friends or someone you know probably has some issues. And maybe the thing we should do is to learn how to listen or just have a conversation. And for those of you people out there who think there's no hope and either have medical or mental issues, at least pick up the phone and call the suicide prevention hotline and just have a conversation. Yeah. Just talking about it makes better. I don't want to make it sound like this is some... You know, I have a hidden message. There is not. Pick up the book. Yeah. My mom needs another house. That's all good. But in the meantime. I mean, honesty is great, too. Yeah. Is there a shot that any of these people here necessarily wasn't depression and just enjoying drugs in the time? Yeah. Yes. There are. Yes. There's some are depressed. Some just abuse drugs. But maybe all of that has to do with some self-esteem issues. Sure. Absolutely. I mean, I've been. You're, were you ever? You were never a drugs guy, right? No, I've never been higher drunk willingly, but clearly, you know, when you pull a tooth, the doctor's going to knock you out. Sure. So you've only had anesthesia as far as like being out of your yeah. own control. And drugs, you know, it's too simple to say drugs. 
Look, if I have a headache, I'm going to take an aspirin. That's oh, drugs. yeah, we mean narcotics. No. So hard stuff, never. I've never put anything in my nose, but I'm the chief evangelist officer, the CEO of um, Invictus-MD.com. It's <laughs> okay. a cannabis company out of Canada. But for me, it's a financial play. They gave me 2.5 million bucks and 10 million uh, dollars in uh, Wait, they, shares. I just thought you were going to say, because you were like, no drugs, never drinking, but I was the CEO of just getting pussy left and right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah, goes, yeah, Those were never my vices, but I was yeah, this chief yeah, executive yeah. officer of laying down that ass. dick. And on I'm the way... I was CEO of making him squirt. <laughs> you, know? you go, all right, this guy's got a whole corporate structure with his shit. <laughs> on the way into this room, I was just told, yeah. watch your language, but... Oh, what? No, no one told you that. No. no, you do not watch your language especially here. <laughs> I like that. that was what okay, pretty... then hashtag suck my dick. Yeah, yes. There it is. That'll push the book. Uh, yeah, that's... But it is true that um, Invictus-MD.com, because it's another chance for me to say it again, was initially a uh, a nice photo you've got of me with a fucking gobble neck. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, Christine, what are you doing? Because you don't always have a bad photo of yourself. I have... Christine, I have... 16. We just found out I look like Paula Poundstone's son. That's what we just found out. So there's a lot no, of that. No, we found that Paula Poundstone looks like Dan in like a wig. <laughs> in a wig. A whole doesn't up. Paula Poundstone sound like a porn name? Yeah. It does. Unfortunately, she did much grislier things, it seems. <laughs> All right, settle down. Don't get excited. <laughs> yeah. So we have lots of things. So, so the Gene Simmons Moneybag.com sodas. Yeah. So let us give you a little bit of it. You got to take, we got to swallow, but you got to taste some. Hey, yeah, where's Paul? I'm fine. I'll drink, I'll drink some soda. What, what flavors have we got for the guys? Oh, uh, right. you got a whole cooler. Anything diet? So look up there. They're available in 7 Elevens and Wegmans and spreading to uh, other retail outlets. When did, you, when did you want to get in the soda game? When did you want to get into the high fructose Not, corn syrup game? Nope, nope. It ain't corn syrup. You're thinking the wrong thing. See, uh, sodas are made with, uh, like chemical sugars, you know yeah. the sugar you put in your coffee and all that kind of stuff. This is That's a good commercial stuff. for, by the way, because Dan's playing the villain in the commercial. Like, what? Just another high fructose corn <laughs> syrup thing is going to give us diabetes? It ain't. Sorry, I don't like. I only really like it if it's. What nuts. flavors do you like? Uh, jizz. Yeah. <laughs> do you have jizz? jizz? <laughs> I'll do root beer. Okay. Yeah. So right, you can root twist beer. it off, right? Yeah. You're strong. I'm a strong guy. So <laughs> it, uses cane, it uses cane sugar. Okay. And nice. all natural ingredients, but you got to swallow. Try it. Give us honest appraisal. It's a good root beer. That's a good root beer. That's a good root beer. And that's that because beer, everything oh, is a little beer. more. How about the chick? She gets nothing. What, yeah. what the do you chick want? with like a ginger ale, I'm sure, or Dan's oh, a ginger ale. Yeah, cream. Hey, do you want to try Ooh, this? cream soda? Do you have cream soda? Oh, you yeah. you share oh, yeah. spittle on the cream. same She's all about that. And that's his girlfriend. We're real wild over here. It's a real. Do you have a flavor. orange or grape for Black Lou? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the bottom line is you go to you go to Gene Simmons Money Bag, spell the way it sounds dot yeah. com, and you order cases, even though they're available, and that that sound of ice being moved around will not ruin the radio show. What uh, what made you want? Paul, come on in. Now that's solid root beer. That is good root beer. Now, Paul, is, are you the one that got Gene in the soda game? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. So you you came to him and was like, "What? Let's do a soda." No, nope. I got a cane. Sure, not how it started. No, well, not at all. No, that's, I mean, that's a microphone. Okay. You were wearing the spaceman makeup. Uh, <laughs> you finagled your way backstage. I <laughs> had no. It was like half Star Child, half Catman. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so we split it up a little bit. But we, we, me and my brother are huge Kiss fans. Um, been listening to them for years, collecting. So we went to a, a Wizard World. Okay. Yeah, to get uh, some autographs. So me and Gene just started talking. You know, he asked what I did. So I said, we're a bottler. Yeah. And we do like higher end, you know, uh, vintage sodas. So he said, I'll give you a call. Yeah. And, uh, I like can you he, make heat? I like the jeans like a one person shark tank. Yeah. <laughs> Bring him ideas. What Me and Dan do? have been Dude, trying to buy, market, we uh, buy high end. The whole shark tank thing, but we, we, with this, with this meeting. Actually, yeah. shark tank was originally offered to me as my own show. Really? By Mark Burnett. Yes. We did, we had done a show for CBS called Jingles. We did a full season. CBS did not air it, but lots of shows are like that. And then uh, Burn Burnett did Survivor, Apprentice, you know, yeah, as, yeah. as high up as you can get. So we both decided to do a show originally called uh, Dragon's Den, was based on the yeah. English TV show. And then he wanted to change the title to Shark Tank, and he offered it to me. And I said, I love this. How much am I getting? And it wasn't know, enough. I'm Jewish, so... 
Shana Tova, by the way. Shana Tova. That's Ashkenazi. Sfaradit is the correct use of the language. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, man, you're really r- busting that out, too. That was too, way huh? past my Jewish I'm a goy. Yeah, I'm a goy. I'm, I'm a Jew, but I don't know that. Term, but, but you worship a Jew. And so <laughs> your girlfriend's about to leave you. She's smiling. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, if, if she really she is your girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, she's my girlfriend. Why? Sure. Yeah, no, I agree with you. If she ran off with you, I would take that for the story. <laughs> First of all, you'll send her back in months. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to show her the crazy tongue. No, no, I, I can't do that. You I, can't show her the tongue? Well, the floor's a little dirty. That's <laughs> true. <Sure. laughs> it's true. They don't care about us in the studio. It's never I don't have no, a dick really, or tongue really to brag about, about with the, that. It's really not about the size, honest. It's more about the fact that it has a spin and dry cycle and it can whip up a good goddamn froth. <laughs> That's it. Oh, that, what a lovely way to... Uh, preview cunnilingus. What do you mean, lovely? All of a sudden, you're criticizing me. No, I'm saying it's a great. I'm saying, you oh, tell a woman you're going to make you're her starting off. Shit, plug up. Well, that's not a proper way to talk. No, about. I was saying it's an eloquent way to tell a woman you're going to eat her pussy. Is by I calling didn't it frothy. Say that. See I'm going to create a nice. See this on my finger? Yeah. Oh. You're going to fist her? Well, I'll be honest with you, Gene. I'll be honest with you. You're going to lose that ring up there. There's some Take off the rings first. You're going to lose that ring up there. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, I'm hungry now. Let's get a burger. It's, it thins out in the back. You're going to lose that ring. <laughs> Well, and she takes it too. I don't mean that that way. I mean, yeah. Well, she has no choice. What a well, great I'm job. Fine. I already came twice. Let's go home. <laughs> do, do people pitch you businesses a lot? Uh, I get approached all the time about ideas, but I bet on the horse. Okay. Uh, he may not look like it, but that's a jackass. Mm-hmm. So when Paul and his brother first, he and I met, we just I talked about their kids. They were your kids, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> and I was trying to be nice. Hey, what do you guys do? Uh, we're in the soda business. Huh? What is that? Mm-hmm. And they started talking about upstate New York. Tell them that Indian word. Skajakwita. God bless you. That sounds like what Italian people call Indian people. <laughs> that move in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a bunch of oh, shit. A bunch of is running it's around a, the neighborhood. It's a, it's a place yeah. up there. Well, I used to go to Pacific Coast Mall, but now there's a whole bunch of Chicago is up there. Yeah. Yeah. My grandmother drinking on the sidewalk. Oh my, my grandmother God. feels uncomfortable eating at that restaurant when there's so many Sajakwitas. So you know, there's a slot machine at the TGI Fridays. The whole town's going to shit. Okay, so back to sanity. It's my sanity clause. Yeah. So um, when we met. I, I liked what I was hearing. You know, we do, it's my grandfather's business. It's called, you know, I can get us into 7-Elevens and other places by just making some phone calls. And I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, but along the way, something interesting happened. The quality is unmatched. See the way the bottle looks? Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, it it's is high. Cool. It's like the champagne of soda. And you, it, it's undeniably delicious. Also, it uses cane sugar, now that crappy stuff that the other things have. So we're very proud of it, and we're going to expand more and more. Back to you, Paul. <laughs> All right. It's, uh, there's a 20 minute so delays on the 495 getting out of New York City. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's pretty awesome, though, just to have your own soda. Did you ever think that you would have your oh, own I soda? I always think about it. I have, have my own everything. Uh, that's just how oh, you have. we have a cannabis company, restaurant chain. We have uh, the largest box set of all time, Gene Simmons Vault dot oh. com. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're aware of the fault. Yeah. We were looking at the fifty thousand dollar experience. <laughs> yeah, fifty k uh, gets you into the studio with me to do crazy stuff, and then I can go to your home and eat mom's cooking for a hundred k. 100K is you come to the house and hang out with the yeah, fam. For the afternoon. Our thing was we were trying to crowdfund to bring that money up so we could uh, send you to a place where it would be like someone who's not a fan yeah. and, and have you burden them, <laughs> like for, burden them for with their you whole for eight afternoon. hours. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be like, hey, guys, we got to write this. Uh, we, yeah. We're supposed to write a song. I have to get out of here. It's like, it's like I don't know, Dan. I'd love to go to the movies with you, but I have to write a song with Gene Simmons now because you bought this how, for me. How, how do much, I say no to this? How much did you say? 50K. <laughs> the 100K. The 100K. The 100K. Yeah, 100 Okay. Fine. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. All right. We did it together. <laughs> you, I like it. We said to one of our, just like, a, just like a young black friend who's only in the current hip-hop. And yeah. just go, hey, man, I just spent a lot of money on you. I'll get you an awesome gift. My Gene Simmons going to come hang out for like eight hours. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday. Open your keep your Tuesday, Tuesday open. I have today. an appointment to cancel it. Cancel work. <laughs> and I had an argument with uh, a woman at the airport who came over nervously, and she said, Richard Simmons. Oh. <laughs> and I had an argument with her, and I said, I, I, I'm not. Yeah. Don't tell me you're not. No, no, you're mistaking me for Richard Simmons. I'm Gene Simmons. Oh, don't, don't tell me. And I yeah. said, okay, 
So you just had to wear it. <laughs> well, you don't want to argue. And then I landed many years ago at, in Las Vegas. I was seeing Diana Ross at the time. So I go to see one of her shows in a in a suit and a vest and all that and tanned and with my hair coiffed back and all that. And I'm waiting at the airport uh, in Las Vegas for the limo to pull up and two very attractive women go, you know that sound turkeys make before their heads are chopped off? <laughs> You know that sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Girlfriend, you know that sound? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're coming up on their stiletto heels. You yeah. hear them tearing and tottering, and they come up, and I'm going, yeah, it's good to be me. And they're going, hello, hello. Yeah, it's, uh, what would you like, an autograph? Yes, can you please give, me, give us an autograph? Sure. Under what name? Just make it out to Lola. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Engelbert. Oh, Engelbert Humperdinck. They yeah. thought I was Engelbert fucking Humperdinck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not that. making it up. Really? I had a similar thing happened to me, except the girl asked me if I was a boy or a girl. That yeah. hurt. I was that approached. Hurt. I, was I really had to grow a beard after that. Yeah, yeah. That was a real turnaround for me. That was beard day forever. I was approached to play Paula Poundstone in a bio. <laughs> that hurts on several different levels. I want to say, uh, you are Jewish. The thing that's always impressed me besides your Judaism <laughs> is, uh, besides, aside besides from that, the first thing's always Judaism. A member of the tribe. Uh, what is, by the way, what is 12 inches in Jewish? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. I'm going to come in. For Happy that. New no. Year. No, that's, no, Happy that's, Jewish that, New no, Year. That, no, that's really funny. But we own the banks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there well, is. we were saying what was up to here for did. a second. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, in your vault set uh, yeah. 150. By the way, in Israel it's Iga Vault, but go ahead. <laughs> 150 unreleased. 167. 167. Yeah. Unreleased solo songs. Uh, they're, they're tracks, some of them, uh, you know, Rock and Roll All Night, Calling Dr. Love, Christine 16 with the Van Halen Brothers. Uh, three tracks with, that I co-wrote with Bob Dylan, including the songwriting session. There's an awful lot there. If you started to listen to it now, you'd be here almost 12 hours later without a pee-pee break. What? That's the thing we were saying, and we started looking it up out of curiosity. Um, Led Zeppelin, in their entire career, made 104 songs or something like that. It's yeah. such a prolific... I, it, that's an, when I heard that number, how prolific that is. It's saying, an, you just never stop writing? I'm an only child. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of time. <laughs> only children, really. Uh, we, it's a lot of boredom growing up. A lot of time No, you, you have nowhere else to turn except inward. So I'm the... CEO, blah, 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 the Canada's company oh, and man. restaurant. <laughs> what? I thought you were going to change it again to smash an ass. I was hoping you were going to change it. Smash my ass. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to change it. I am the uh, dean you know, of getting in their jeans. Know. I'd be hearing <laughs> jail talk. Anyway. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Well, you know, I don't think it's jail talk. I think we're talking women. We're I talking. know. You know, I have a sneaking <laughs> suspicion because, because you don't have pubic stuff around your face like mm-hmm. your partner does. You're going to be very popular in jail. Yeah, very. I'm very kissable and pretty. Somebody's got to be the mommy. I'm going to be the darling. We're going to go together, and I'm going to say he's mine. He's my bitch, and no one else can touch him. But then we're going to go around the corner, and I'm going to go, you don't mean that, right? And you're like, no, it's just for play, just so they don't touch I you. Think I, go, you should probably, should I think we should it, leave and let these two <laughs> just go at each other. Let's I mean, play acting right now. He goes, yeah, but you should probably just suck it so it doesn't look weird when we get to, when we get to the next hall. We're going to think we were lying. You just suck it a little bit. I don't need you to win, so I'll get us both shanked. <laughs> I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. Oh, man. That was of course, I'd rather throw up a little bit in your mouth. Yeah, story. bird play. <laughs> Hey, I'm down with it. Bird play. <laughs> oh, you're in the bird fetish? You're in the baby bird fetish. I didn't know. I didn't know. You were I, didn't fe- know. I didn't know you were a feather. All right. Terry, thank you so much for bringing me in here. <laughs> Terry! Terry! Uh, no, I mean, thank he you. Don't, for- he doesn't get to talk at all. He just sits there. Black Lou. Black Lou. He talks all he wants. Say something. Talk all the time. How are you? But what? How's it going? How's everything going with you today? That's they gave you the mic, and that's the only thing. You're saying. <laughs> uh, ask your big kiss question. Say something. <laughs> What's up? You know something. Has What's anyone up? has anyone purchased the time with you for the fifty k or hundred k yet? Yes. How did that turn out? A fi- uh, cash. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't a good hang. <laughs> yeah. The hundred k. Did you go to? Did you go to their house and like yeah. hang out with their whole family? Oh yeah, you can go on. Like, go to GeneSimmonsVault dot com and you'll see the videos and everything. Oh okay. Yeah, really sweet. Uh, you know, I could make the jokes and everything, but 
I love my life. Um, look, there it is. See the videos? I'm talking. There's a Gene Simmons action figure. Hell yeah. I've this, always... This uh, vault literally weighs 40 pounds and uh, 50 years of this and that and all that. That's unbelievable. And you deliver it hand delivered to their house. And each and each vault has memorabilia of my own. So no two are alike. How do you how do you uh schedule the time? That's like a real like some good, good, good 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 question. The answer is because it's just far too expensive to fly around the world. We've already been in Japan, Australia and all that is when I go there all the buyers, you know, who bought the things, I promised they'd ha- I would hand deliver it. Mm-hmm. So we have gatherings, either at the hotels or the concert halls, put aside some time, and I play songs from the thing. We do question and answer, and I pet their dog or mount their dog, as the case may be, <laughs> and hand deliver them the vault, which has never been done before because retail, as you know, is dead. And when I was growing up, I never met Elvis, you know, hey, Gene, check out my new album, thanks a lot. And I wanted to change that. Mm-hmm. Boy, it got serious here. No, that's, that's, that's awesome. Pretty, that's a cool I think experience. That's pretty, so you're essentially having, like, your own, like, conference in the hotel. More than that. You get, you know, conferences, somebody's on stage, and you don't get to... Sure. And all that. No, I'm among them, they're surrounding me, and question and answer, you want to come up and sing with me, that kind of thing. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, that'd be an that's awesome That's a really cool thing to do for fans. As, as a fan experience, that's got to be... It's very cool else. to do for $2,000 a piece. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you flip that, you roll those dice every time, it's species, coming up Jewish. You understand, yeah. But at least, uh, yeah, the, the also thing is, I was saying, the honesty, at least you're honest about it, and you're not like, it's just for the love, not give me $2,000. Well, it's like, yeah, it's 2K. Look, it's cool. Look, uh, Both people... it's, it's a very expensive box set, but mm-hmm. I'm not crying, uh, you know, crocodile tears. Also, I don't charge them for the air flights or the hotels mm-hmm. or the insurance or the security, blah, blah, blah. They don't want to know that. Yeah. Uh, it is the most expensive box set of all time. Yeah. But the closest one, I think, is the uh, Guns N' Roses one, or there was a Neil Young one for a 1000 or thing. You get nothing. You just get the book and some CDs. In here, you get action figure, gold coin, you know, over uh, 10 hours of music and and a vault that weighs 40 pounds. How often when you deliver to these hotel rooms does a guy try to get you to fuck his wife? Mm-hmm. It's got to happen at a bizarre at amount of times in your life. Do I have to answer? No. But- it happened to me this weekend, and I am nobody. <laughs> <laughs> was she there? Yeah, she was there. No, no, it, the, the offer happened this weekend. It didn't happen. Oh. But it was a guy that, yeah, wanted us to fuck. He wanted me and Christina to fuck well, his girlfriend. It was strange things have happened. Very sweet. Yeah, I thought it was a very sweet offer. What a nice offering. <laughs> I'm I have no comment. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, Gene Simmons, happened. go to Gene Simmons Vault uh, dot com to check out the Vault experience, and you can also go to Gene Simmons Money Bag Soda dot com. Soda is really no, good. Uh, Gene Simmons Money Bag dot com. Gene Simmons Money Bag dot com to check out the soda. The soda and is awesome. As, and as we know, uh, retail is becoming a problem. That's a good soda, right? It's, it's a really great soda. And so the. Smart thing to do when you have a party or a cookout or worship Satan, whatever you do, order cases mm-hmm. of this stuff and be the cool guy on the block because no soda is as good or looks as cool. It does look cool. What it's do you drink? Supreme. Sprite like an asshole? Support Kobe Bryant? Whatever the hell that scumbag's done with his life? Yeah. No. What, what, Get top what shelf. The champagne support, of soda. You support this soda. You support money bag soda. What's the matter with Kobe? Oh, well, it, we got to. Oh, yeah. There's a whole history lesson. We might have to come back, Gene. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I got some bad breaking news for you. <laughs> some <laughs> stuff went down in Eagle, Colorado. This That's, just in, uh, 2008. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Gene, thank you so much for coming on the show. GeneSimmonsMoneyBag.com. Thanks. Um, and check out, yeah, I mean, and the, the book. book 20, month to get the book, 27. Is not, it's coming out? This month, uh Last week of September, you can get it in all the stores and all that. Very, very cool. It's a, it's a well put together book too, and I'm excited to read it. Absolutely, thank you so much, Gene and the, Simmons. And for everybody, you, there are pictures in there too. There you go. I like that. Yeah. That's also. And, and then, then Christine can... will explain to me the word parts. <laughs> <laughs> That's where she go. I do the picture parts. She does the word parts. It yeah. always ends in a fist. That's a good team. <laughs> <laughs> um, and please, uh, pl- and plug your name. I'll give your name again. I'm sorry, oh, mechanic. Yeah. Say from Paul Janik. Paul Janik. Yep, from uh, Gene Simmons Moneybag dot com. Fuck yeah, man! Such say a that, pleasure uh, to meet you. Real that Indian word again. Skajakwada. Skajakwada. I want to say to you too in a, in a moment uh, for real. My stepfather, when I was young, my stepfather came in my life when I was ten years old, and huge Kiss fan. 
and brought that in my life. And I'm still to this day, and Dan will attest to that. Like, I've turned him on to yeah. uh, Kiss Music because he wasn't as familiar. I've been a huge fan for a long time. So it's really a pleasure to have you in here. It's been uh, fun. I should have you, told you how good looking you were when I first walked in. <laughs> okay. There's still time. Show me that tongue. <laughs> want to say, say it with your tongue don't, work. Don't start something you're not going to finish. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I have to go have gay sex with Gene Simmons. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. All right, get out. <laughs> I think I'm the proud owner of a kiss casket. He fast sold me outside. Hundred thousand dollars. You guys are hanging out. You guys are best friends. Got fast sold me outside on a casket, but it's a cooler now. He went. Do you want a Do you want a nice casket? It's a cooler you though. Right now, now it's a beer cooler. What? The casket. It's now until a beer you, cooler until you die. Oh, that's pretty awesome. That's what it is. Oh, it's a beer cooler. Then it turns into a casket. Well, it's a casket beer cooler. And then it becomes just a casket. Man, that guy, how much money does he have? Always be closing. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, how much money does he have? Like, God only knows. Well, let's count, uh, vault experiences. He's got <laughs> one, 300,000, so, keep going. 300 million dollars. Yeah, that makes sense. Yikes. Yeah. Yikes. How did you... them all. He was talking about a time he was banging Diana Ross in here a little bit ago. Very casually, by the How way. How funny is life, your direction is life lead you, and at some point you were fucking Diana Ross, and then you're bullshitting with us. Yeah, you're talking to us about fucking burping, <laughs> <Root beer. laughs> about <laughs> chewing and spitting into my mouth. <laughs> I, uh, the, I I enjoy the root beer. Dude, the root beer's great. No, no bullshit. I actually like the root beer. I was like... I would have stopped talking about it if I didn't like it, but yeah. the soda's solid soda. So, I, I, mean, I would get this at my deli. That's three sure. generations. Those guys are doing work at that bottling company. The, the cream soda great, Christine? Yeah, it's great. It's really good. The ginger ale's great. Hey, God damn it. Man yeah. makes man makes a hell Look, of a... Look, there's a reason they brought him Shark Tank, I'm sure. The guy knows a good, like, product he can get behind. And, you well, know, I mean, he's a merchandising genius. <laughs> yeah. You're just saying that because he, he, he offered to eat you out. <laughs> I'm running away with it. From him. across the room. I think yeah. he did eat her out. Call me Christine Simmons. He, yeah, he didn't answer one of my questions because he was like, oh, oh, oh. And Christine's like, <laughs> Christine, I hate to burst your bubble. He didn't marry Shannon Tweed. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to throw it all down the fucking gutters for you. He's Shannon Tweed. I should have, man. I mean, Young the, the, energy, the energy was too awkward to bring up the fact she that. She just smelled his fist when he put it up. Dude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a bloodhound. <laughs> Uh, dude, I one of the first tapes I ever got like to jerk off to were Shannon Tweed movies from oh, yeah, fucking dude. Cinemax. Like, yeah, bring up some nude Shannon Tweed. Man. Oh, dude, man, I was such a fat hangers. Oh, yeah, dude, that really did lead me down my life for fucking big titties. Oh but yeah, for sure. Shannon, oh, she definitely had to be one of the godmothers of soul for your tit, hell, tit, ab, your tit infatuation. One hundred percent. It was also like always a detective movie where she was like, you know what I mean, man. Bring up her movie. Yeah, dude, that movie up top to the Two right. Together. Dude, I used to... Ju- yeah. Dude. Oh, because that could be you? Dude, I jerked off to that. <laughs> That's little Danny Sodes. I jerked off to that. No joke. Yeah, oh, her man. Body, I, her, dude, her body was insane. I bet it still ain't bad. Oh, man. I was, that shower scene, I know exactly what... That was on a Cinemax one, a detective movie. Dude, I jerked off to a lot of Shannon Tweed, dude. I said dude a lot. I'm excited. Yeah, she was in her heyday, dude. And she's still holding up nice. Look at her now. Bring a picture of Shannon Tweed now. So, but Shannon Tweed now split gash. <laughs> Send. <laughs> and go. How long have they been together? Like 40 years? That's mean. But, I, uh, well, since the 80s? Oh, yeah. 70s? No, I think it's been 50 years. Yeah. <laughs> since the 80s, I think, for sure. So 30 years. Hey. <laughs> What was um, that? What was going on, Jay? You all right there, bud? Dan, I have a quick question for you. Have you yeah. ever spent a night on 100% organic cotton sheets? No. Uh, if you have, you've probably never slept better in your life. Fall and Branch makes the softest, most comfortable 100% organic cotton sheets you will ever sleep on. Oh, God. <laughs> because they can only sell them online. Not that they only can. They do only sell them online at BowlingBranch.com. Their sheets cost less than half the designer brands. That's her now, huh? Mm-hmm. I um, Three U.S. presidents, huh? And they're twice the quality. Hundreds <laughs> of thousands of Americans love Bowling Branch sheets, including three U.S. presidents. And uh, age, well. and this guy right here. Wow. Yowzers. Um, You won't believe how comfortable they are until you try Bowling Branch. But don't just take their word for it. Okay. You also can sleep on Bowling Branch sheets Risk-free for a month. What? Oh, they're not getting any better. Huh? <laughs> um, if they're not the most comfortable you've ever slept on, send them back okay. for a refund. <laughs> Plus, 
If you who? If you if you order right now, you're going to get fifty dollars off your first set of sheets plus free shipping, and that's got to be Gene Simmons approved right there. Yeah, that's a good deal. You get to try them for free. Or you get a refund if you don't like them. And if you order now, you're going to get $50 off your first set of sheets, plus free shipping. And that's all at BowlandBranch.com. Promo code BONFIRE. That's spelled B-O-L-L and Branch.com. Promo code BONFIRE. BowlandBranch.com. Code Dan. Bonfire. No, you can't know it. Damn right I do. So it is the lit show. Is this, I was thinking, uh, I've been watching so much. Uh, Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. I'm two episodes from completely caught up on both shows. Completely. Damn, you started Walking Dead like a couple months ago though. Man. Like took G- yeah, like June, July. That's still impressive. I have movement like that. It's been good. I did the wire I, in I have like, two months and that was like a lot. I have like three, I have three episode nights easy sometimes. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Man, I've been playing so much Spider Man. But I go deep into the night. That's the other thing too. But it's got me thinking so much now. When we had one night you were out you were uh, I think filming and who was it? Uh, Bobby Kelly and Rich Voss were in here. They were talking about their yeah. survival things they're getting into now. And I don't oh, know yeah. if it's hit me overnight, their go bags and all that kind of stuff. But I'll tell you what, watching those shows and not zombie apocalypse. You yeah, know what I mean? I don't yeah. think I'm being ridiculous here. But I just said, well, I saw with Hurricane Sandy what happened because it happened on me also. I yeah, lost a bunch well, of shit. Out, that's when you were living on Long Island. Wait in line for gas for three, four hours to get a little bit of gas. And people were getting shot over gas, and you're like, man, it really does. That show is not being terribly bleak about what's going to happen. Like, people were not, and I am, I am starting to worry about thinking about getting, I don't want to be nuts like those televangelists tell you to get, find your get, like, sheep, get, like, food, dried your food, and all that shit. But just like, Put them I in feel the bad. Place. Yeah, I feel bad that I was, I was thinking about today, like, I should take my big combat boots, my least comfortable though, and like, fur line them or something because good shoes seem like they're going to be important when I'm walking across the country to find my tribe of people. Yeah, absolutely. And, I already uh, know I will become the water king. <laughs> I, Dan Soder, am the clean water king. Dude, I watched the Always Sunny I episode. learned how to turn piss into drinkable <laughs> water. I am the alchemist. <laughs> water is gold. I'm so happy you're doing this because all I was thinking about when I was talking about this is that the only person who would be more into this is me. Than me, I was going to say it would be Jacob. And then I started thinking in my head about post-apocalyptic Jacob, and it makes me laugh so hard. I think I'd do well. You would. I'm I more think... equipped than you are. Whoa. By far. I'm not insulting you. I'm just no, saying. I'm, but just you, saying your... I'm not proud of that. I have an extensive. <laughs> with your great body and just wearing like uh, like the football pads with skulls goes, on them. He goes, part, move ways. And the gang opens up. Yeah. I knew him when the city stood. <laughs> got... He was a friend. I got knives covered. Yeah. He's got a gun with feathers that hang off of it yeah, and shit. No. Great Leader, what shall we do with him? He goes, hello, Jay. <laughs> Jacob? J- <laughs> goes, oh, people Jacob? Have, people haven't called me that since computers ruined the world. <laughs> Sorry, my voice had to am, rough you up a little bit. I am Farfanas. It's an old word meaning shark of the land. <laughs> Farfanas. <laughs> Farfanas. So join me. To eat salted meats and take one of my women as your bride. I am the land shark. You will bow to me. Sorry what happened to Dan back when New York fell. (laughs) I heard about Dan. Is his family okay? Did Trish make it out? It's a shame. It was funny. I like those voices. Ain't no room for a funny, soft motherfucker out here, though. I hope he's playing. What are you doing, fat boy? I hope he's playing Spider Man in the sky. (laughs) And I think that's the heel turn. Yeah. He asks us, shame. Dan was a good guy. Anyway, what brings your tubby ass out here, motherfucker? (laughs) You're looking for food? You want my rations? You're looking for food to eat, fatso? (laughs) All we have is human flesh. (laughs) I'm a cannibal, motherfucker. Well, you won't. You get hungry enough, you will. Yeah. You know who I ate first? Whiskey. It was like a goddamn sausage. A Polak sausage. I'm going to stop when I'm dead. Is it possible, Christine, to watch the video of this black woman with red hair? Eve? Let Gene Simmons come to her house. Oh, you mean when Eve hung out with Gene Simmons? It's just it looks a picture. Like Eve. Jay, is that the most you've been watched three shows? You would say that's your max? That, that one time? watched a show? Yeah. 
Definitely. I'm a, if that's true, I'm so ashamed of myself. What, how many do you got going it's, on? But it's time when I get to start. I would watch five or six in a row. I end up falling asleep on like by the third. By the time I, yes, I start five watching, because <laughs> what are you, Jacob? That's a you, lot, Jacob. What, what's going the, on now? What's going yeah, on? What are you telling us? Are you like Christian Bale in the Mechanic? What was that movie where he gets all fucking I, skinny? I'm ashamed. The machinist. To yeah. Say what I'm about to say. Say it. I blew through two seasons of the 100 last weekend. I got how many episodes my, is that? What? Well, Twelve, twenty-four episodes I don't know, in forty-eight hours. 20, yeah, but in Jay, forty-eight in hours, my, you watched defense, twenty-four of them. In my defense, that's forty-two minutes apiece, just not a full uh, hour. All right, all okay. right, all right. It's not Olympic time. Oh. So you're not an HBO hour. There was time in between to look around at how lonely you were being. <laughs> Great show. <laughs> Anybody want to stop me from doing this next episode? Say <laughs> yeah. I or I move forward. Hands up if you want to watch another app. Yep, that's All right. it. Majority it's rule. unanimous. <laughs> Time to watch it. I did couch, what are you? He starts talking to his shit like Pee Wee. Good night, Moon. Good night, Couch. Here. Good night, Silverware. It was getting dark. Dude, that's the worst. <laughs> I was so ashamed of myself. Take I a went, shower? I went to the gym. Okay. okay. Burn I, it I off. had to do something. Dude, I uh, when when I watched The Wire in uh, the first three seasons of Always Sunny, I got into Always Sunny at the end of episode, like season three. And I've been I binge watched those three in like three days, but those are half hours. I'm sure there's a day that I've watched like an episode in the afternoon, and then watched like you know two or three at night and a little more. But definitely not like there's no way 24 hours in that's, one weekend. That's I nuts. I'm gonna do Ozarks. I don't know if that's kind of time. Yeah, Ozarks. I'm gonna get in right now. Season yeah. one. Haven't watched any of it. It's uh, the first season was amazing. Second season's great. You watched it already. You yeah, know, I, mean, the, I had a weekend, so... <laughs> you tore through another show? How many Jesus. episodes are that? That's 10 episodes. You're like oh, a guy who speaks a lot of languages. Like, full How hours. do you find the time? <laughs> full hours, though. Full hours. 10 hours. I Jesus. mean... You got to... Uh, five and five? I could do that. I see that. You don't smoke weed. That's impressive. You got to put us on like, a hooker budget or something. It's oh, going to be dude, that crazy. Be pounding, like, be pounding ass like Gene Simmons, which apparently pounding ass means uh, gay sex in prison, which yeah. I don't know. Totally. And Dan would do great all pal of poundstone mm-hmm. looking and shit. I'm like, you guys ever lay around and then you just don't understand that you're in here alone? <laughs> what the fuck with what? God, I'm really, uh, I'm really thinking about how much TV I watch. To Jacob? It's an excessive amount of Netflix. This is an intervention. <laughs> well, at least in between, you're working out to show your body to no one. So yeah. <laughs> you're avoiding atrophy. That's pretty sick. You know, it's pretty dope. Is how you get out of the house and you don't get bed sores. Yeah. You get abs to look at in the mirror. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get to wash yourself. Uh, did you? How? Yeah. What? I got. I got. I have no excuse. You don't see DJ Lou doing that. He's got to be out wandering around the block while Will fucks a chick in their, in their yeah. bunk beds. And then he does his exercise, just punches a fucking concrete wall for 30 minutes. Hey, Will, I never asked you. You like guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. Were, I'm so... Hey, Will, I never asked you. You like guacamole? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Want to go do karate in the courtyard? Yes. Uh, but you're not wrong when there are times I'm watching the show and I feel I gotta be productive so I'll do the I'll crunches on the exercise ball while I'm watching the show just to feel like I'm doing you got to <laughs> Does it, you are you're, to, you're just talking about the morning of Dexter and American Psycho yeah. by the way if you were super into business cards I'd be really worried about you I make steak and eggs I shine, tie my shoelaces after I make sure they're the same length then I tie them and then I tie them slowly it's all intricate because oh, all we you know when a woman dies, she doesn't know she's going to die until <laughs> it's just a little too late. When you sever the head, they say the brain function lasts for about another 54 seconds. Do you like Huey Lewis in the news? <laughs> Their first album, Sports, which came out in 1983. Their follow-up, which some critics hand. Four. Four. <laughs> Jacob. You're it's doing too right. much. Uh, it's not too much. People that go all through the night. I watched. I mean, I was hammered. No, I've done that. Okay, I Jesus, mean, Jacob, <laughs> give me a fucking, give me some ground to stand on here. I'm trying to defend you. I mean, I think I watched one till five in the morning, and then I conked out. It was, so it's only weird if you have the people who deliver food. If you yell doors open, you make them bring it right to you on the couch. <laughs> and he goes, "Yeah, sure, that's what you do, right?" Yeah. But what are you paying for? You mess yourself. I'll get it myself. I'm going to go out. Monday, Sunday nights are for cleaning up your mess from the weekend, and you poop and piss all over yourself. He's like, oh, "I gotta go put this delivery guy in the boric acid tub." <laughs> I go, "Why do you what?" 
I have to melt the body of this delivery guy, Dan. He saw my life. <laughs> he found the map. The map to what, Jacob? Uh, I can't. We can't have this conversation. That's cr- But, I mean. I don't want to hurt you, Dan. What, have you watched a whole season in one sitting? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that is a yes. Jacob, is that a yes? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How many episodes was that? No. Though? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Dan, in all fairness, that was a short season, so it was just it was twelve episodes. What? 12. A short a short season's eight episodes. You tell me you were you you tell me you watch uh, Second Chance You season two one sitting. Sure, those are like seven episodes. I can't. If it wasn't for me, I wouldn't. I feel like I've put you onto a couple of shows. I have to make sure they're okay for you. You know what? That's very good. That's that's a good way to positive reflect your addiction, you which go. is clearly uh, destroying your life. Jacob comes in, yeah. He got me on. He did Fear the Walking Dead. I'm telling you, the 100, I think you're going to love it. I like that kid, the Hobbit kid, right? He's in it. Which one? Oh, he was on that show. The For w- what show? For the 100. Isn't the star of that the kid from, one of the Hobbit kids from uh, Lord of the Rings? Patrick something? Mm-mm. I don't think so. Look at the cast of the 100. You guys are going to have to go in for hours on this. How many out? Wait, there's only two seasons of 100? Five. There's five seasons of the 100? Yeah. And you're caught up? I started watching three weeks ago. <laughs> oh, wait, this is the one where the plane crashes. No. Fuck this me. This is not the plane crash. That's Lost. I don't watch that. I know it wasn't Lost. This is not the I knew I was talking about Lost. I know what Lost is. I'm he highly recommend about a plane crash, stupid. too. He thinks you're a stupid I idiot. know. You see the way you're treating me? No, no, That's no. Lost. <laughs> Jesus, learn isn't this the one, Oh, isn't this the one where the two girls have the guy roommate who has to say he's gay so they don't kick him out? Because that's two guys a girl in a pizza place. That's three's company, Dan. <laughs> See, this is the one. We were all in sync here until Gene Simmons came in, tongue fucked us all in the beat. He really did. Views. I'll tell you this. He really did. <laughs> I'll tell you this. He, he didn't. He, he did. He didn't believe you were Jewish. He had no use for me. He was trying to fuck Christine. He's giving us this pretty pretty sure fucking the, mean juice fucking uh, yeah. soda. Hey, hey, negative soda energy. Hey, you guys want to fucking ramp up on some cane sugar and start yeah. headbutting each other? He got real mad when I brought up high fructose corn syrup, which makes all the best sodas in the world. So. <laughs> he, he fucking sugars us up. He has us fucking kill each other. Yeah. And then he comes back in with his friends to take our gold fillings. I've seen it before. Yeah, this is a fucking, this is old, the old Gene Simmons. They can't do this. Right? He's going to do it. He's kind of goddamn right he's going to do it. So before the apocalypse comes, everybody, make sure you go see Dan Soder at the Sacramento Punchline. Oh, that was good. Uh, September 13th through the 15th, and after that, he's going to be in Minneapolis at the Acme Comedy Club. September 20th through the 22nd, go see Dan live, man. He is, without a doubt, uh, one of my favorite people in the world and one of the funniest dudes I've ever met in my life. So make sure you go uh, see him uh, live. Get tickets for that and all of Dan's shows at Dan Soder. Dot com. You are just you are just a kissable little boy. <laughs> Big J going to be at Comics Mohegan Sun. So if you're in the New England area, come the fuck out and pack it out. September 20th through the 22nd, then in Calgary, Alberta, Canada at Yuck Yucks. Oh, that's the heart dungeon territory. That's Stampede Wrestling. That's Big J Okerson putting you all in a hilarious what are you gonna do, uh, Oh, Canada, September 28th and 29th. Go get tickets to see Big J at Calgary. Go to BigJComedy.com for all tickets and to download his new album, Crowdwork Sessions, Volume 2. I promised myself I wouldn't ask. And him and Ron Bennington, Ronnie B, the godfather, coming to Philly's Keystone Comic Con. For uh, tickets, for to request tickets, go to the interrobang.com. <laughs> I'm farting. I just I like beef jerky. Whiffed on throwing one of those glass bottles of soda in the trash. Yeah, I gave it a real law, and there was some soda in it, and it just clunked the front of the trash can, and spilled everywhere. Oh, so now they can't move us, yeah. motherfuckers. Boom, Mark Studio Tiffle. Five for life, for life. Hashtag that, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, in the same studio. Bond. If LL Cool J doesn't fucking... Uh, oh, you mother... Yeah. Right, Yo, Deepest Blue. My studio's a shark's fin. <laughs> My studio's a shark's fin. Deepest Blue. Hey, Bonfire. Uh, get deep. the fuck out of my... St- hey, Bonfire. Deepest Blue. My, my studio is five. You'll be moving it and moving it and moving, moving it, it there. Well. Mm. Moving it I represent moving Studio it. 5. He was raised out in Studio 10. <laughs> <laughs> he was raised somewhere else uh we love you guys we'll see you tomorrow Mwah. ciao baby <laughs>